I was actually surprised to learn that the official rules for cogent do not mention advantage or disadvantage. So while I think the concept is super obvious I am sure there will be people who have never used it before. If a character has advantage on a roll, that means that 3s are considered successes while if they have disadvantage 4s are considered failures. Advantage and disadvantage are great because applying them will not make performing a task impossible or guaranteed. One of the worst feelings in Cogent is dealing with a challenge level higher than your character can physically roll. Nobody wants their character to be tied up in a chair and be physically unable to break free. But if your DM sets a doable challenge level but makes it a disadvantage, now you have a chance to defy the odds. Additionally you can apply double advantage or disadvantage if these are tasks that are incredibly likely or unlikely to be accomplishable. Drinking a potion while sword fighting may give you disadvantage to your combat role while drinking a potion during a sword fight while your hands are bound may give you double disadvantage. In addition to advantage granted through your specific circumstances I came up with a concept called a proficiency you can spend a skill point and pick a subset of a stat to always roll with advantage on. For example, on knowledge checks you may be proficient in history. In nimbleness you may be proficient in juggling. In influence you may be proficient with animals. To clarify, these are talents and hobbies you've picked up that are not related to your vocation. It lets you make your character a bit more nuanced. That like real people they've got specific things that they're good at. Remember to subscribe for more cogent content.